Nanotechnology, of course, people understand that it's things that are small. And this is true. It, it's things that are small, but you have to have a feel for the scale of smallness. If you were to take a piece of hair and cut it, that's about 75,000 uh, nanometers in diameter. Anything from 100 nanometers smaller is considered nanotechnology. If you're an engineer and you're trying to make some kind of a device, uh, a golf club or a tire or a dental filling or what have you, uh, you look for what material will solve the problem that you're trying to address. And what nanotechnology provides you is a new way to change the properties of materials to give you the desired outcomes. The Nanofabrication Center is an organization that allows people to develop new applications in nanotechnology. We train people from academic environments and uh, from private industry. Uh, medical device companies are extremely interested in this area. High technology materials companies use our facility and also energy. We're looking forward to the opening of our new facility in late 2013 in the Physics and Nanotechnology Building. Our usage of the current facility has grown by over an order of magnitude over the last decade. Uh, and, and we just physically don't have space to put the people and put the machines in. So part of that is uh, having more room to be able to serve more users. Having a facility like the Nanofabrication Center means that people can try ideas that they might have uh, without having to put the capital expense up front. So it, it's, it's a great boon to the state it's a job creator and a technology creator.